Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing, darling? I just wanted to remind y'all what I look like, darling. Let y'all know that I'm still the one reading your tarot cards, honey. All right. <laughs> How are you doing, Aquarius? So my name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, darling, for July. All right. And I'll let you in on a secret, Aquarius. All right. If you click top right hand corner right here, darling. All right. You'll be taken to your monthly tarot reading as well. But today, Aquarius, if you enjoy my tarot readings, let me know in the comments below because that's how I keep up with you guys is through the uh, comments as well. Be sure, Aquarius, to consume more than just your one zodiac sign. All right, darling, consume your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus. You know, cater the readings today that you receive into your charts so you have a better understanding what's going on in your personal life, darling. All right, not just your sun sign. So today, Aquarius, we're going to be getting into three tarot rows for you guys. The first row, we're going to be talking about your career and final financial situation, Aquarius. Okay. And then in your second row today, we're going to be talking about your social life. All right. This could be a romantic or a platonic relationship, family, someone you may not even know yet, darling. All right. Or work related. And then in your third row, which is my personal favorite, Aquarius. All right. We're going to be tapping into your predictions, tarot messages that y'all need to hear uh, at this time to have a better understanding of how you can further elevate your current life. All right, so let's get into this here, Aquarius. And remember, darling, if you want to support me in a completely free way, Aquarius, just give this tarot video a like and subscribe. It helps me out more than you ever possibly could imagine, darling. All right, so let's get into this. Ace of Wands energy stepping forward to you, Aquarius. All right, following in your passion here leaning deeper into this passion some of you guys are being challenged more creatively here aquarius all right it's the sense of like i'm being asked the question like why <laughs> like anytime i'm trying to like even expound on what like why i'm getting like this message of just like why it just is then cut off with like another why it's almost like for some of you aquarius is there's always been like you always have like a reasoning or it's always as if there's something that comes up that stops you from following in that passion you always have a reasoning or an excuse if we want to just be blunt aquarius for it so it's like you know it's like that one annoying friend being like well why don't you ask, why don't you confess your feelings why don't you actually decide to uh take advantage and go forward with that project right it's the sense for you aquarius like why not you know it's like ma that message of why not why not do you know follow with your heart instead of following with your mind in a career aspect uh we are going to be associating this ace of wands with falling more so in a passionate pursuit here i feel like the key for some of you aquarians when it comes to your career if you're wanting further advancement and uh in your life by the way i do read inverted darlings but y'all don't need to see the cards upside down to understand that there's a message that's inverted <laughs> okay <laughs> someone tried to make that in the comments before i'm like girl i read the inverted darling but i pay good money for these cards and i promise you you're gonna appreciate the cards in this way not this way honey okay <laughs> anyways in regards to your career i feel like you guys are being challenged aquarius to uh, asking yourself where you can be a little bit more vulnerable with your craft where you can uh le add more passion into your life with this all right if you're wanting to do something better for yourself career wise why not why not chase after it all right that's very much so where your spiritual team is just sitting at here uh, aquarius is just place of like well why not and so you read in between the lines as a tarot reader and you kind of understand like if your spiritual team is just like well why not go after that you can kind of presume aquarius that they're going to be helping you out in forward momentum with those projects as long as it's answering to your passion and not just answering to like a greed like you just want more money like that's the thing like if you're wanting if you're wanting certain successes in your life aquarius right some of you guys are just beating against a brick wall because you're doing something that you think will be successful because you you have a passion for the money darling which i mean who doesn't on some level that pays the bills darling that pays for these crystals right but for my Aquarians that follow more so with a passion project rather than following with a project that is sounds bad, just like successful on paper, wh whoever's chasing more after the passion rather than the success and the passion that you feel with that success, that's where the rewards are going to be happening. All right. Now, in your social life here, Aquarius, I see the sense of where very just strongly where it's like you have this desire of reaching out or extending out emotions to people if we're going to take this in an internal way with this ace of wands with your social life where you are feeling this in the coming days here i feel as if especially with this four of wands here this lets me know of like this desire of like wanting to get closer to someone and have them 
be part of more of your closer circle working together with them here ace of wands is this card of following with this desire that you have towards reaching out to new people reaching out to friends and you know expressing your passion expressing your truth now in an outwardly way aquarius where you are receiving that type of social attention here be prepared that you're probably especially for my singles out there there's definitely seemingly talking about an energy of someone lusting over you we'll get a we'll get into deeper messages with that with the clarifiers and when i explain the cards but there's definitely Definitely from an outward uh, standpoint, Aquarius, this is like a straight up message of just like someone's lusting after you or just let's take away the that aspect of it and just like has a strong desire in connecting with you, darling. All right. Whatever. Take that as you will. Now, predictions here coming in uh, for you, Aquarius. I just kind of feel as if for my Aquarians that just follow like that lead again with their heart instead of with their mind, which kind of sounds silly, but it's like. I don't know. I feel like my artists are really going to thrive. I feel like this is the time for my uh, Aquarians, which I feel like most Aquarians are just naturally artistic. Even with Aquarians that just are... Aquarians could just be reading the dictionary and still make it sound artistic, in my opinion, just with how they present their energy. But... um I really feel like this is such a successful time for my passionate Aquarians, for my artistic uh, Aquarians, who, for my Aquarians that really want to create something creatively or just from passion. All right. So let's start getting into these rows here. Aquarius, we're going to be putting this back of the deck card, replacing it right here with your ace of wands darling all right and if you know who my little good Judy is right here where the reference is from let me know in the comments all right so let's get right into this here for you Aquarius you have in your career the judgment hanged man with the four of swords stepping in for you darling all right I see career for you you guys have been <sighs> I think now is the time for like things are going to be taking like 180 for your career so this could be in either way but let's just take it in the first way that i see this as it's like with this four swords here a lot of you guys have been in this healing period maybe it's been more of a priority for you to take care of your mental health more than anything for a while aquarius or just creating like a nest for yourself in your home space maybe some of you guys have recently moved um and just been having more i feel like your focus is more so on just trying to make yourself comfortable before you go out there and take more risks here now um hangs man judgment energy coming in here the momentum is going to be starting to pick up here all right and i want to be really trying to prepare some of you aquarians for what's going to be coming here because especially with this judgment energy that stepped forward to you as i said beforehand like when you read in between the lines of the tarot like because your spiritual team was just sitting there it's just like all right aquarius you want success darling why aren't you chasing after her? Why don't you, you say you want to, like you wish you could make a career out of your writing or what, you know, whatever your passion is, why not? You know, why aren't you, what, what you doing, right? What you doing? And so because of their keeping that type of energy, the judgment energy, how I personally translate it, because I'm a very spiritual, quirky person, honey, um, I translate the judgment more so as your spiritual team. So your spirit guides, archangels, I mean, whatever you, whatever you subscribe to, darling, is none of my business what you believe in, darling, I promise you. Um, I just see this as the spiritual side taking affirmative action to bring things into the physical for you. So you get double affirmation in regards to that Aquarius is where it's like almost as if you're being pushed out of the nest for some of you guys where it's like your spiritual team or you, you has just been like, all right, Aquarius, you had enough of your enough is enough. Now you licked your wounds long enough. You're tougher than this Aquarius. It's time to get back into action. you like, you fell off that horse, whatever that horse embodies for your personal life, Aquarius. Now it's time to get going. So I won't be surprised um, if you notice uh, your like things starting to kind of force you out of bed or some of you guys are just going to be feeling inspired, right? That's how your spiritual team works with you. It's just like inspiring you uh, mentally now for your social life aquarius this is going to make a little bit more sense of why i was saying the messages i was saying with that ace of wands back there right now page of cups king of cups with that four of wands stepping forward to you all right page of cups represents aquarius uh new people entering your life all right new people entering your life and it's usually spiritually brought because if you look closer darling all right don't look too close at my hands <laughs> if you look close enough uh, aquarius you'll see 
a uh, little spiritual astral hands right to there linking you two up together so it's almost as if like your spiritual team plays a part in having y'all's path cross with one another all right so be expecting some new energy coming in and also we can't neglect the message aquarius of where it talks about the deepening of current connections all right and because we acknowledge that ace of wands beforehand some of you might have the desire of deepening a connection uh with someone in your life take action on it Aquarius okay take action on it king of cups that came in here this is the heart of your spread all right this is mental or mental darling uh, I, I suppose on some level um but this is more so emotional maturity coming in this is the energy that surrounds you this week the people close to you as well as you as well Aquarius all right is a lot of emotional maturity coming in here the person that you might be wanting to express to or the person that is coming in might just keep a lot of their emotions internally I almost feel like if like Aquarius like what it is that you feel like this desire that you have towards like deepening your connection with somebody it's met on both sides but maybe you have been a little bit it's almost hmm. you know what I think for some of you Aquarians it's like you have this desire and this other person has this desire but the king of cups kind of just feels everything internally but you guys have been both wanting both to take action on it with that ace of wands following with those that passion darling right y'all both want to be doing this but you've been waiting for some type of sign from the other person to for like the okay the green light to follow in that passion you know so it's kind of it, i don't know i think it's interesting personally and then with this four of wands coming in here this is more so just like a blessing of like whatever way this looks like for you aquarius is if this is a new person coming in and it could be both for some y'all darlings right as i say i'm just a messenger darling for some of you guys, and it's for y'all to really uh make the reading collaborative and really make it about your life because darling i don't know your life right so it could be both or just one side for both some of y'all but i really feel strongly that you can trust the energy right you can trust you can trust that you for my aquarians that choose to follow in their passion reaching out to somebody it's going to be meant with emotional maturity you can trust this new person coming in here because it's a mutual interest here and they seem to be someone that would be a very pleasant connection that really could either bring out some celebration in you like the child uh making you feel more alive is the word i wanted to be using now in regards to your predictions darling aquarians my favorite part page of pentacles cherry energy with this ten of swords coming in okay tens representing closures to chapters when you associate it with the ten of swords painful chapter right as i was saying beforehand i was noticing some of you aquarians been really licking your wounds for a hot biscuit now right you've been in this place of silence really reclusive for some of you guys deep in thought maybe you some of you all have been having your head in the books for too long here and now it's time for you to follow in that passion instead of just being about in the books building more of that passion but for a majority of you guys here new energy is opening up you have two different pages coming in here which represent on their own aquarius is new and uh new energy coming in pages new energy and so page of cups page of pentacles coming in here for you some of you guys this new energy coming in is coming in the sense of like new streams of revenue stepping forward or picking up in revenue here more so though because of the page of cups with the opportunity it's like some opportunity either gives further advancement for your financial situation or builds like a new stream right a new stream building up. um <laughs> i was repeating myself there aquarius but it's just like sometimes that's just uh, <laughs> i can't use my words properly because i'm always trying to find the proper words to express what i'm visually being shown so it's like you know when you like uh are like carve out in the sand or in the mud when like i think egyptian we're going off in this tangent but just go along with it aquarius right i feel like at this point in time if you're watching up until this point aquarius you like me for my personality not just for my tarot cards so <laughs> but like i was being shown like i think it was like egyptians that would like use like the nile river and for their irrigation if i'm using that word properly like cutting out like uh in the sand or whatever uh for the water to like come in with that new stream of water that's what i was being shown visually so i over explained that but girl whatever anyway sue me actually don't darling <laughs> but i do think i just see things really picking up with this chariot energy i see this kind of like bur busting through some doors all right busting through the gateways you've been in this slumber period for a while you've been licking your wounds for a while but this is what you've been healing this is what you've been resting for is so you could just bust out the gates wide open honey and really start building things creating all right so 
I like this a lot for you, Aquarius. This is some really good energy, darling. So let's start expounding on these cards now, all right? We're going to be using my mystical manga tarot deck for these cards to clarify. We're going to be starting with your career, firstly, all right, Aquarius? So as a reminder, your career cards were the Judgment, Hanged Man, and that Four Swords. Okay. All right, we have these Seven of Cups clarifying that judgment energy, Aquarius. All right, I feel as if this is like... You know what makes me this makes me think of Aquarius? It's like your spiritual team takes you out to dinner and they're just like, order anything, Aquarius, and we'll pay for it. Don't worry about it. Just order anything that sounds good to you. And some of you Aquarians take that seriously and you're, not, and you're just like, you know what? bet i want an appetizer i want an appetizer for going home honey i want two entrees honey because i might i want to try these two different things and then let's get to, let's try all the desserts right because i'm really chocolatey but i also want some dessert like i want something fruity as well right keep that type of energy and i know that sounds super selfish and what have you but it's like take advantage of what's being offered to you darling they wouldn't offer it to you if it wasn't going to happen in the first place and so if i see for some of you aquarians and this kind of goes against some messages i've said in the past here but it's like sometimes i'll tell people aquarius in my readings where it's just like i feel like you need to be laser focused in on just like one thing and i feel like it is important you have to know your own personality if you are able to function with, with multiple things but i feel like for my aquarians that are able to dip their hands in a multitude of pots you will get blessings in all those pots as well, just as long as you're able to handle it, right? I hope that makes sense. Hanged man being clarified by the king of, no, not the king of wands, the page of wands, darling. Again, pages, you're getting all the pages. The only page you haven't gotten is the page of swords, darling, all right? Page of wands, new opportunity coming in from a change of perspective for you, Aquarius, all right? Y'all, this is really, in regards to your career, this is like a specific message of change, by changing your approach, by changing your views, that's when things really pick up for you. I feel like you got to be doing something different here. Maybe there's something different. It's just like, you know, just getting out of that resting period. But uh, uh, emperor energy. Yeah, now is the time, Aquarius. Now is the time to be treating yourself as more of an authority, speaking from a place of more of authority here. All right, now is the time to get back on that throne. You, you, had your, you had your maternity leave, darling, your paternity leave. You had your time off, darling. Now is the time. You went to that retreat. Now is the time to sit back on that throne and take, make use of all the personal work development that you've been doing, Aquarius. All right, and the emperor gets seen, by the way. The emperor gets seen by many. <clears throat> in the back of the deck energy funnily enough is the four of swords aquarius so really that's a repetitive theme if you've been noticing your career and financial thing kind of been at a standstill or let's not say standstill because that adds like somewhat of a negative connotation aquarius but let's say just nothing exciting it, you know it pays the bills but nothing really nothing really exciting or like game changing has happened for your career in a while and it's going to be picking up here for sure now let's start expounding on your social life now. Girl, that was not a good bridge shuffle. Hold on, Aquarius. We got to get that good bridge shuffle in here. Let's start ex expounding on this. As a reminder, you have the king and page of cups with the four of wands. And so clarifying that page of cups, naturally, darling, we get that nine of cups coming in here. This is this page of cups is what makes that nine of cups, ten of cups, darling. OK, first and foremost coming in. I really feel some of you Aquarians are going to be getting into a pretty serious relationship in the coming days. That's something that I get like that's a prediction I'm going to be making. Some of you guys are either going to be getting into a really serious relationship, platonic or romantically. Clarifying that King of Cups, we have these Seven of Wands coming in here. Some of you guys, it comes in from a sense of a group dynamic. You might have, be making friends with uh, an entire community for some of you Aquarians. I also see that some of you guys are clinging too tightly onto connections that you need to just kind of like let go of and allow it to be what it is. Some of you guys are having noticing some type of social connection. Aquarius is starting to fade away. Just allow it to just take, do its natural course of events all right don't fight for certain things that are just kind of like fading away ace of pentacles clarifying your four of wands coming in so really it's just the sense of let the cer let certain relationships fade away if they need to fade away all right because what you have coming in is just some really solid new connections all right really 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 solid trust <clears throat> excuse me trustworthy connections 
And then in the back of the deck here, magician energy. Once again, I feel like you guys are able to relate to each other, either spiritually, because I see the magician card as someone that manipulates spiritual energy, um, either spiritually or you relate to another because of your craft, because of your passion. Maybe you not you don't share the same exact passion, Aquarius, but you share in the same of like where you function from, right? You might just be motivated by one another and inspired by each other's point of views, all right? This is someone that really understands you. Clarifying your third row now, Aquarius. Let's get into this. Knight of Cups coming in here. Clarifying your page of pentacles. This is someone extending out their pentacle to you. Someone exp expressing emotion directly here. Again, Aquarius. Someone, ha someone has a strong desire of communicating with you and connecting to you, getting to know you more. All right? <clears throat> someone. I feel like 75% of you guys know that person. Seven of Swords, clarifying that Ten of Swords coming in here. This lets me know that you guys more so just either went through, I mean, the cliche negative aspect to this would be like finally able, being able to heal from like betrayals or from pain that was blocking you for some of you guys, blocking you from opening up to new connections. For others of you, this is more so the sense of where you've just been juggling with a lot and things are finally going to start settling down. mm, -mm. And then clarifying that chariot, we got that page of cups once again coming out for you, all right? So new opportunities are just busting through the door for you, Aquarius, all right? You did new people, new opportunities. Just a lot of new energies in general for you, Aquarius, all right? So it's just like, be open to it. I feel, it, you know, there's, you don't, you're not really getting any cards that ra any, raise any type of red flag that calls for your attention here. Because again, three of pentacles energy, while you guys might be very different from one another, one another here, you guys all kind of function from the same ultimate goal or function off of the same morals. All right. So I hope this gave you some resonance, Aquarius. I love you so much, darling. Um, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonated with you. Remember, darling, top right hand corner of your screen for your monthly tarot reading as well, darling. All right. If you want to book a private reading with me, simply Velka dot com next to my social medias if you want to connect with me on a more intimate level or just simply velka for instagram as well as tiktok same as here darling but until next time aquarius i love you so much darling bye